Hi everybody. So today we are going to work on this card here. Now there's some stamping to do and I have the two pieces. <clears throat> okay, let's do, let's flip this over and let's do this first. You will need avocado ink. I need to get me a baby wipe. I love those close to my heart chamois. I had one out. Oh, there's my other one. I just found it. It comes two in a package. And I thought I was going to have to order another one because <clears throat> my, uh, my son's dog chewed up. Okay, we're going to do some stamping. It has you use light avocado ink and just stamp this little, these lines. And I thought we could do that together. Now I am hoping I mailed out catalogs. I'm hoping that everyone got a catalog from me. I just haven't had the money to send them out. I always get stamp ink around on my block, but that's going to be covered up. So I'm not so worried about that. And getting them straight. Yeah, that's a chore. <laughs> I'll show you though. Now this kit is really nice. Okay, see how crooked, but... You're going to put this on top, so really, you can't really tell, tell my messy stamping. But, practice, practice. I have been getting up early. And getting my real-time videos in before anybody gets up. It's not even, oh, it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock somewhere. I'm an early bird. And I go to bed early. And I get up early. <clears throat> get my coffee, my, my creamer with my coffee. A little sprinkle of coffee with my creamer, I mean. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> this is card number three. Make sure I put this back on the little thing. All right, so next we third generation stamp with intense black ink. I laid this out in case I didn't flip my mat over. Okay, now this, you need to get your ink on your butterfly pretty good. And I just kind of like this. Now the black is pretty moist. Just got to make sure I wipe off my block so that I don't get any on that white. All right, let's... Now, I'm supposed to do three of them, so let's see if I can um, do them right. There's the first one. Second one. And third one. Now, the third one is going to be a lot lighter. Oh, yes, I like that. Okay, so clean this. I need this block to put my coloring on. So let's put that back. Let's, let's, I really like that 
um, lagoon, a little bit of lagoon. If I could find it, I had it out. There it is. A little bit of lagoon with some water. There we go. That's a lot. <clears throat> okay. So this is done. I'm going to move that. All right. So now they want you to color. Now I still have some avocado glitter spray. I'm just going to spray a little bit of water just to activate it. And I usually do the middle part. I bend with all my cards. I do the, here, let's move this over. Flip that so that you can see. Okay. Just like that. All right. These brushes, I know they're kind of cheap, but if you are you you're looking for something um a cheap, these were five dollars at um, five below. So if you have a five below, it comes with all these. And I really would love to get into some painting. That's my goal. I like, I really would love to set these up, but I like these showing, you know? So. Just a share. Okay, let's bring that in. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna bring that in. Okay. Bring that a little bit. I'm going to bring in the dark. Then, I think what I'll do is spray some white. I'm going to clean my brush out. Then, I'm just kind of messing this morning. I'm going to bring a little bit of lighter color. And then lighten up the other. All right. Oh, it does say to give this one a light color, too. And that helps cleaning off your brush and just doing a little bit with the, the water. A light green there. <clears throat> okay, we are going to let this dry a little bit. And we are going to bring... Okay, so I need to get a card front. Now this um, card kit comes with all of the cards that you need and envelopes. And then there's a crease and sometimes they don't fold evenly. So we are, yeah. So where's my scissors? I like to trim them when they're not creased, right? All right, <clears throat> so 
So the card's going to go like this. Okay, then also you need, let's see if I could find it, half inch by five and a half. And you are going to place it an eighth of an inch in. So I like using my mat to help with the lines. We have one more card after this. <clears throat> that looks about right. Okay, so now we need to glue this on. Whoops. Okay, let's line this up. Hmm. Need to get it just right. It's really nice out this morning. At five o'clock. Let's see what the temperature is. All right. Rushville. That's where I live. There it was, 41, high of 61. Woohoo! But we have a lot of flooding. But I'll take that. Wish I was in Florida. <laughs> okay, so I have that glued on there. And then you just add this piece. And then this goes over like that. Okay, let's glue this on. This one's a little bit difficult. Put this one on. I'm going to turn it like this. I need just a little bit. All right. Okay. So that's not all. Okay. So <clears throat> it says to... Stamp, love you most. Um, let's see what else we have. How about smiles and hugs? I haven't used that one yet. I like sending hugs through the mail. <laughs> I like getting hugs. Okay, smiles and hugs. Let's I can never put them. I know with the acrylic blocks close to my heart, if I can find it, there's a line on here for you to line stuff up. But I find I get a better stamp if I kind of put my stamp in the middle. Like if I had it on the end, it's hard to. Yeah, I think that will look just right. Let's just put that under there. And then after I stamp this, you add a little bit of color. Am I the only one that gets extra ink on your block when you stamp? I mean, I, I just don't know how to avoid that. Okay, we are going to stamp that there. Oh, that's so cute. Look at, see the. By using the shimmer brushes, that butterfly shimmers just a little bit. And there's the, that's so cute. Okay, what's it say? Add hearts. 
Okay. Yep, it looks like just add the hearts around. And then I already have off camera, I went ahead and stamped these so that I could put the other cards um, together faster. I will have this card um, workshop kit listed below. So if you would like to pick it up, I am having a giveaway. Um, it's going to be through the end of April, I think. Maybe, maybe. I have March and April on there. So I just want to start doing giveaways for Close to My Heart to all my customers. And I really appreciate everyone. I really do. It really helps. Okay. I need a little heart there. It's hard to pick them up. My nails have grown out so much since I was with Becky. I need to get them done again. Okay. And then add that one there. Super cute. Let's do... Let's do some splattering. There we go. That's a little bit much, but I think it'll be all right once it dries. And it has that really pretty shine to it. <clears throat> love this card. All these cards are so beautiful. I just love them. I hope you enjoyed this card. And if you would like to pick up the workshop kit, I will have it listed below. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye.